open or if you've already downloaded it like I have just open it from here splash desktop if not you can open Google and then you can say scratch and then you see this and click the first link and then you'll get directed to this page right here now what do you do in this page it'll be like this you need to say create if you want to create your own projects okay it's loading like this if you want to download it it's you can say scratch download it's also in the link below so if you want you can just click the link below in the description scratch offline editor you can just use it download here and then you can say you have to do this you can install the scratch version scratch 2 editor to work on projects without internet connection so this is so, so scratch is a really easy app for beginners to start. Like it has a, a screen right here, and then you, and you can make it minimize and make it smaller and bigger, and you can also maximize it, minimize it. You could with the screen, and also you can the coding is only blocks and it's super easy. It's really easy to learn and it's really easy. So, if, you, if you're new to Scratch, it's okay, it's not gonna be so hard. But once you learn everything, it will be super easy for you. But you but you still must work hard because some things one might not happen. So, this is it. Now, we can add sprites using the choose sprite right here. And you can choose any sprite you want. And also you can just choose sprite on search. It's exactly the same, nothing different. Doesn't matter if you choose this one or this one. If you choose paint, you can make your own sprite. But, but we don't want to, no, to make a new sprite. We go here. Okay. Paint, then surprise. Just take a random one. See? A random one so it won't be like like a one you want it'll just be like a random one and upload you can upload things you can upload maybe a picture anything and now let's move on to the backdrop choose a backdrop you can choose any backdrop and this one exactly the same and paint, you can make your own backdrop. We don't want an extra backdrop though. We have already one. And you can do surprise, you just give in a random one. Like for sprites, give the random one. And upload backdrop, you can upload a backdrop. So that's the basic controls. And the beautiful advanced controls are the size. They're not advanced actually, they're okay. But it's a bit, it's not advanced. It's just like the need to know what, what is for which one size. If you know the X, X coordinate is like this one. The Y coordinate is like this one. To move it. So you know to know a little bit. So that's it. That's what that is for. There are also some tutorials that you can complete. Very easy. I tried all of them. And they are very easy. Just just talking tales. Anything. So once you're good at scratch using the tutorials, you can make your own games. Okay, so now let's look into some of my projects.
I only made one though. But let's look at it. So, yeah, I published it. So, it's not like not nobody can can go in it. Okay. Scratch. We just type. Yes. Oh, we will so there are a lot of people made this this game but um, what we will do is just I'll just um, create a new one and then I'll just load it instead of searching it because there's so many of those so this is the one okay there it is so this is my game so let's have a look at the at my game. So when I click the start button, the ball is different, but you have to click it one more time, and then the ball starts moving, you have to avoid the ball. And now watch what happens. I have lives three, it changes to two. And I'll do it again, one. And then, and then once you get to zero, the game over comes. It stops everything, the ball doesn't move, but you can still move the sprites. Mm, all right. Okay. So that's how you play this game. The ball moves at random positions. It's a bit hard. I think it's gonna come there. Then you go down. But then look, that's what happens. Then there, it should be the safest to go up. But then you get you lose a point as soon as you go up. I think it should be safer to go down. It's okay. Okay. Well, but one time it's gonna come and hit you. Just wait, and it's coming down, going up again, it's going to take some time, it's random. Alright, I don't think, I lost. So that's my game. So now let's have a look at the code, what I've made. So I have five sprites, first one is the city bus, which is controlling, and I have one click to switch costume to city bus. A. This is this costume. I also made a second costume. They're like like a feel like this one, but I didn't use it anywhere. So I just made it. I I think now I'll use it, but I couldn't use it. That's okay. And then I have set live to three. There's a variable called live, and and I'm done forever. If touching hole, this is the hole. This is the ob obstacle. Change lives by minus one. So it'll go down. And it says wait one second. So it will change lives by minus one and wait one second to do nothing. And by that time the ball will be gone. So, so it won't keep on increasing it. Now watch what happens when I take out the wait one second and play it. Let's click one more time. It keeps going down. In one, one hit went down. So when you put wait one second, generally it works. And when then I have when up arrow key pressed, that means when you press the up arrow key, it'll move upward. Change y by ten. Change y by minus ten for down. This is for down arrow. Can't move sideways. You can only move up and down. And then we have the road. There's no code for this because we don't need any code. The hole is when click set Y to pick random. It's gonna pick a random from the here here. It says go to this position. We create it's right here. And forever move minus five steps. It's gonna go like that, 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 that there. If touching sprite two, that means this one, this is the screen outside, is going to set X to 295, which is right here. After starting and set Y to pick random this one. I'm gonna go like that. Okay? As for the hole, and then we have sprite one, which is the game over. It is when clicked set show variable lives hide. So it's when click it's gonna hide and also I'm gonna show the variable lives. Wait until lives is equal to zero. So when it's equal to zero Hide variable lives and show 
this and then stop all. I mean, stop the whole program. That's how it works. Now we got this right to the screen. We don't have any code at all for that. This is my simple game. I'm gonna put the link in the the description so below so that you can explore more. So that is the game. So if you want more things like this, you can you can see my game and maybe see on Google for more instructions and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope you like.